Good. All right. All right. So, hey, we're back, and we just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about one of the great benefits of using the Data Vault is that it really forms a um, kind of a generic framework in that we can adapt it to almost any business model. And, of course, once we've deployed it, it's very easy to bring in other subject areas, and we don't have to worry about having a, a fixed, um, well, let's say hardened approach that doesn't allow us to easily change. So the, one of the ways that works is, of course, when we have a hub satellite combination like this and we're bringing in a new business area and we have another hub satellite combination here, it's very easy for us to add a linking structure based on these business keys, form this relationship, and in both cases we haven't done anything to modify the existing architecture here or anything to really uh, cause an impact on this. Right. Um, Peter? Peter? Yeah, I think that's very challenging um, or, or very interesting indeed. And, and the point is that if uh, later you have to come back to uh, do part of your diagram and make modifications, there's also no propagation of, of anything that you change here to other parts of your, uh, of your model. So it also allows you to, uh, to make changes to your existing model and, uh, and be fairly sure that you can estimate the impact on your downstream BI applications um, fairly, fairly good. Um, and, um, and, and that will should, should give you the opportunity to, um, to build your changes much quicker than yeah. you can do with the traditional model. Yeah. Absolutely, and even within the context, like you're saying, within the context of one of these business areas, if I start to um, track information about something new and different, in a typical structure, either star scheme or third normal form, I would have to go into a table and start to make those changes in the table. Right. Whereas here, I can simply propagate another satellite structure, but this is borrowing the foreign key, right? So I really have, again, not touched anything here at all, sure. but I've added and absorbed the change without any re-engineering. Mm -hmm. So that's, of course, one of the great things uh, that makes it so adaptable. Yeah. And we, we've been hearing, even as of uh, our meetings over the last couple of days, that one of the key things there is not just adapting change later, but our ability to start off from day one with a small iteration yeah, exactly. and then build iteratively, yeah, which we have not been able to do with enterprise right. data warehousing before this. Yeah, well, um, some people, some companies try it, of course, but uh, you run in the danger that you build soft pipes eh, because then you are going to build it project by project. And then it becomes extremely difficult to tie these different areas together. Um, and, and actually, the, uh, the data vault model allows you to do that, just that, um, tie them together at a later point in time if, uh, if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're, you're absolutely correct. And as it turns out, <coughs> once you start with those sto stovepipes, yeah. you've just given up any notion of an enterprise data warehouse. Yeah. And if you're dimensional, you've given up on conformance. It's just you, you can't have it. Yeah. So. Excellent. Very exciting. Well, again, it's great to be here uh, and to talk to you about Costco and about what's happening. We're very excited. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to doing some great things together. Great. All right. Thanks, Dan.